This is the 1909 Alco Black Beast race car. This was uh, built by the American Locomotive Company in Rhode Island. And it was, uh, the, the American Locomotive Company was a train company primarily, but for six years they made automobiles. And this was their primary showpiece for their car brand. Howard Kroplick's vintage race car is a marvel for car enthusiasts of all ages. We let children sit in the car and experience what it feels like to be in a, a, a historic race car. No, but this. Oh, that's the horn. One, ten, nine. You give me a count. You said only ten. The Bet Noir, French for Black Beast, is a veteran of many important races from the early 1900s. This raced in 16 races of the era. It won six of them, including two races here on Long Island, the 1909 and 1910 Vanderbilt Cup races, which were the World Series, uh, the Super Bowl of racing of that day. It also raced in the first Indy 500. It was the favorite to win, but broke down on the 52nd lap, finished 33rd. But there are only uh, two cars that exist that were in that race, this car and the car that won the race, the Marmon. The Beast isn't just a retired machine in a museum. It's a living artifact that may run better now than it ever has. And it takes regular gasoline, too. Car runs great. Uh, we were giving people rides before, and uh, we'll uh, be riding the car home about four miles away. So we'll, we'll be shocking the people on Port Washington Boulevard. John Cuoco devotes one whole day each week to maintaining the car for Kroplik, checking fluid levels, oil, batteries, spark plugs, and the 21 small grease fittings that must be regularly lubricated. It amazes me, the technology that they had in 1909, and the gears. I mean, it's really basically the first pause attraction, because it's dual chain driven with a transaxle underneath the driver's seat, which to me back then, it's state of the art. And I love the fuel pump, which is a bicycle pump. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but it works. Cuoco says he doesn't mind doing the dirty work on the car, especially when he gets to sit in the driver's seat. It makes me feel great, especially when I'm driving it. I love it. It's an, it's, an, it's an exhilarating experience to drive this car. You really get the sense of power. You know that she's talking to you. Kroplik, who is also the town historian of North Hempstead, discovered the car at a dealership in Brussels, Belgium. He couldn't pass up a chance to bring an amazing piece of Long Island's history back home with him. He now showcases the beast for historical societies, charities, and special events where the car is truly appreciated. Three years ago, we were invited to uh, participate in the 100th anniversary celebration of the first Indy 500. And um, Emerson Fittipaldi uh, drove this car with me as a passenger just before the race. And uh, it was an amazing thrill to go. And he, he got it up to about 60 miles per hour. Two years ago, we were invited back again to do parade laps. And this time, I drove the car. And I got the car up to about 70 miles per hour. Uh, the way I describe it is was it was a exhilarating and terrifying. The rest, as they say, is history. For Push Pause in North Hempstead, this is Louis Dane.